Welcome to the next video um, on BGP, learning how to use the rubrics for assessing the learning outcomes. So here we are in our um, active class shell with our students in it. We have our BGP assignment that we imported from the BGP template. Um, currently it's unpublished and now we are ready um, to fill out the rubric that we've imported. So we need to publish this. So now it's green, it's published. The students have turned in this assignment. We have grades for all of them. And so we're going to click on this assignment. Um, here's the rubric down below and we're going to assess them on social and behavioral learning outcomes one through five. This, and we have the rubric put in here. You can see over here that there are no points associated with any of these learning outcomes. These are data points on whether the students did not meet our expectations, they met our expectations, or they exceeded. Um, it is up to each department to determine what the zeros, ones, and twos mean. Typically, um, people will do this based on grades that A's exceed expectations, B's and C's meet, and D's and F's do not meet expectations. So you will want to check with your department chair or course coordinator to know what the parameters are for what constitutes a zero, one, and two. That was part of your BGP proposal. If a student did not turn in an assignment, they do not get a rubric completed for them because um, if you give them zeros for that, that's a false negative. We don't know. If they would have turned in the assignment, maybe they would have exceeded our expectations. So when you get to their name, you just skip over them. You don't fill them um, a rubric out for that student. So we're in the assignment. We're going to come up here to the right to the speed grader function. Click on speed grader. Our first student is loaded. We're going to click right here. Uh, you can see it's out of zero. This is not associated with their actual score on the assignment. It can be if you want it to. Um, certain departments, um, especially if you are teaching this um, at the high school level, you may want the assignment to be upgraded or uploaded within Canvas so that the folks here at BGSU have a copy of it. For the purposes of BGP assessment, we do not need the assignment uploaded along with this rubric. However, if your course coordinator or your department chair wants it uploaded into Canvas, that's something you need to determine. For the purposes of BGP, we just need the rubric. We do not need the assignment, okay? Um, so we click on View Rubric, and you can see here SB 1 through 5, and there's a 0, 1, and 2 for each one. So for each student, you have to go through and click on each learning outcome. So let's, see, let's say this first student got an A on, on her assignment, and we've determined that that means she gets a 2 for each learning outcome. I click on each one, and it highlights it green. So she gets a 2, and once I've clicked on each one of those, I hit Save. You can see here it says exceeds expectations, so I know I've saved the rubric, and she's done. I come up here and I click the arrow next to her name, and it moves me to the next student. I hit view rubric. This student got a B, so I'm going to give her ones on every uh, learning outcome. I'm going to hit save. I can see that I gave her meets expectations for everyone. She's completed. I come back up to the arrow. I go to the next student. This student did not complete the assignment, so I'm going to skip her and move on to the next student. I'm going to hit the rubric. She got an A, so I give her twos. I hit save, and I move on to the next student. That's all you have to do, okay? Once you fill a rubric out for every student in the class, your work is done. The Office of Assessment can go in and collect the data. Um, you don't have to submit any report from that point. You don't have to let us know that you've completed it. Um, we can go in and retrieve those data points. So at the end of the semester, when you have all the grades done, you just go in, you fill out these rubrics on each person, and um, you have completed your BGP assessment. Thank you very much for watching 
this video, and if you have any questions, you can contact the CFE. Thank you.